I'm Emma, environmental specialist at EcoChain, and I'm going to explain to you the goal and scope phase of LCA. In the ISO standard 14040, four phases of LCA have been specified that you need to follow. The goal and scope phase is the first one of these four, and therefore you can imagine that this scope has a big influence on the rest of your LCA and what you're going to measure and how you're going to measure it. So for that reason, this is a very important phase. But what is the goal and scope phase? So in the goal and scope phase, you determine the goal of your LCA, so what you want to achieve, and how you're going to achieve this, so the scope of your LCA. It essentially consists of two parts, so the goal and the scope part. So in the goal part, you specify why you want to do your LCA, what you want to achieve with it, and whether you, for example, want to communicate your results externally, or whether you want to compare your product, for example, or your factory to a specific other factory or product. So these are all things that you would consider during the goal part of your goal and scope phase. And then in the second part, the scope phase, you essentially determine how you're going to do your LCA. So you're making a plan of action and you're drawing the boundaries of your LCA. One thing that's really important with the scope of your LCA is determining your functional unit. And the functional unit is essentially the unit in which you are going to measure your product or service or really the function that you're going to do your LCA for. And we have a separate video on this topic. So if you want to learn more about this or the definition of the functional unit, you can watch that video. Another thing that is very important in the scope part is the product system that the functional unit is coming out of. So for example, if I'm doing an LCA for an apple pie, there's a certain system in place that makes sure I can make this apple pie. For example, I need to buy some ingredients for this apple pie. So these are flour and eggs and butter and things like that. I also need an oven. I need some certain tools to make this apple pie. And I also have some waste from making it that is treated elsewhere. So these things are all part of the product system of my apple pie. And what I need to do in the scope phase of my LCA is define this product system, make a flowchart of it, and also decide where the boundaries of this system lie, which means that I decide also what is included and excluded in my system. And this, for example, depends on what is relevant in the system or what is actually relevant to assess my functional units and what is actually not so very interesting, so what I can exclude or what I don't have data for, for example. What is very important to note when doing the goal and scope phase is that you will probably at a later stage in your LCA refine this again. So in an LCA, things are generally not really set in stone and you always encounter things that might make you want to change your goal and scope. So you should always be open to this. So in this video, I've explained to you what the goal and scope phase of LCA is. Good luck with determining your own goal and scope of your LCA. And if you have any more questions or problems with this, let us know and consult our website. Thank you for watching this video.